what are the costs of living on a boat and then you have like maintenance is a big part of the whole investment you have to think about during the year so it's finally here ray marine all the navigational instruments we have a complete new setup so this is uh super excited we left amsterdam and drove to our sailing home in turkey where we saw the perfect sense for the first time after eight months we are refitting her now she's in a hangar and in need of a new teak deck hull color lithium batteries instruments and sails so we finally can call her home and start sailing the world Okay, Benjamin and I, we are going to the boatyard with the dinghy. Mama, it's freezing cold. Go. Yeah, go, but we are going with the dinghy. But the dinghy is full with water, so daddy can't, no, 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 I can't put my shoes on yet. connector part is usable with old ones okay some of them are needs to be installation for hanging and lifting boat ah. or installation and it can be a future uh, project okay okay uh, you can use the gps speed information yeah for ocean passage sailing you must need the hull speed as well yeah because the difference for currents are always is giving the more data also seawater temperature is giving the more feedback to you you are on the right current or not yeah okay. if you are on the cold water current yeah. the temperature you have follow the temperature then you are going out of the current okay, for then. losting advantage and yeah. disadvantage it is a, a passage a sailing is totally but this in water sailing you can use anyone <laughs> Today is about the installation about all the Raymarine instruments, the navigational instruments. We're gonna change everything. This is John. Uh, thanks, Garvan. Nice to meet you about more than a year ago via Instagram. Now I would like to enjoy life with sailing with yeah. my private boat. And thanks to my young partner, he is running, Emre is running on the company well. In the specific days, I'm coming yeah. with specific projects and specific persons. Yeah. Are you sailed last year from here from Turkey? No, the company. Years. Two years ago, I have started my circumnavigation from Turkey. The first year, I sailed Greece, Croatia, and reached to Malta. Yeah. Very short distance. Now, yeah. I would say that time is a very, very, very long distance for me. Then, after sailing to Malta to Spain, depending 90 days Schengen rules. Okay. Yeah. Then okay. I leave the boat in Spain and across the Atlantic. 2018 or 19. I mixed all the years at 18 Caribbean. Then I understand what's the world. How small it is for the sailors. Leave the boat six months on cruise and hurricane season. Okay. Then sailing to Panama, uh, enjoy the San Blas area and reach the Panama Canal just before the new price rates last year, December and the last days of December. Then finally, I decided coming back to Turkey and postponing all circumnavigation all plans. two, three wow. years future. So you're gonna sail the boat back Panama Channel? 
Exactly. From west to east. Exactly. I could be in the first Turkish boat uh, sailing to west to east. Many of them sailing yeah, as traditionally east to west. Yeah. Sailing season, sailing winds days for uh, North Atlantic. Yeah. Yes. It is another challenge. I like to do that. Yeah. Nobody knows for future. <laughs> no, that's one thing for sure. Yes, I'm very happy to share our experience with technical background experience and the sailing experience with you for your future uh, sailing days. So Chan is helping today with the complete layout of Raymarine, where to install what. We would like to have a double uh, setup for our um, autopilot as a backup system. But the autopilot exactly, I would say. On the my boat is a three independent system. Yeah. Two electric yeah. and one wind vane because I hate if one day I hate uh, lightning. A totally uh, mechanic system is uh, ready to for backups. Steering uh, one hour, yeah. two hour, five hour, one day. Come on. In the passage, uh, I heard about somebody steer uh, more than 10 days. It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. It's a nightmare. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, why uh, I would prefer two independent autopilot system always better than once one day you need it yeah so good morning finally start with the last two projects we're gonna combine it a little bit we're gonna change lead acid batteries into the lithium batteries we're gonna install a big inverter so we always have a 220 even when we are behind anchor on all the cabins so that's going to be a big update and we're going to replace all the old navigational instruments and keep some essential parts as a backup uh, we are still waiting for one essential cable but for sure it will come because one of our friends is uh, coming they take a plane from the netherlands all the way here so he can take it as well and we have to take a decision today about it but uh, yeah really excited that this is the last phase Took out all the lead acid batteries. It's like a like a exercise in the morning to get all the heavy beasts out. And now we are going to take the whole instrument setup out, the old one, and also the the display because we have to modify it. Of course, the dimensions of the new setup are different. And we're going to replace it. The cables are coming here. This is the yes. So instead of the six big surface batteries and the two starter batteries. We want to replace it with six Nomadas of uh, Super B. One big mess so we're taking everything out i'm also taking out the old cd changer you have six cds and you can change it. we are not using it anymore but even the television we're gonna replace take it out but that's the television take it out dvd player cd players everything out and then uh, one big new system we also had a converter for 115 volt probably from the previous owners because they are they were from the uk and we're gonna take that out as well and here it's one big mess here on board here you can see all the, the old cables this is the old cable from the from the radar so we have to replace it this is our control panel for the bow thruster and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put here the old autopilot with the panel this part we took out all the um, old instruments and we're gonna place all the new instruments over there so we have a good view that we can control it from everywhere but it's interesting because there's a lot of cables i'm not i don't have a good background in electronics so i'm really happy that yachtwork is assisting me uh, on this project or taking the lead on this project and i do all the small jobs what's possible so but look at this about the new batteries from super B.
So, I just got a message regarding the missing cable. It should be at the marina office now. Delivered this morning. When that's the case, then destiny awaits. Ah, no, no package. Oh. Yeah, maybe later today. So day one, 24 volt bank is working. So uh, great, and look at this. Benjamin, ah. yes, ben Whoa. Yeah. Benjamin is vacuum cleaning. Good morning, first night with the lithium batteries. So we're gonna check the, the voltage. So it's uh, zero percent. So that's uh, not good. Something is uh, leaking some power or we have to adjust something. But the good news today is we got the dinghy. And who is it? Is the dinghy okay? Okay? Okay. 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 So we just heard that the package with the essential cable has arrived. And as you can see, the weather is completely different. <laughs> yes! Benjamin, are you coming to pick up? To pick up the package, the final cable, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Do! Do! And this is Ramazan. Ramazan is taking care of the autopilot. Ooh, and this is precious, huh? This, this is something special. We always have a broken part, a navigational table, but this part is always, it always breaks down because it's plastic and after several years and there's a lot of weight on it. And this is the present from Yardworks yesterday. So they created this, aluminium. It's not gonna break anymore. So that's fantastic. Thank you, John. Thank you, Yardworks team. So, uh -oh. and with this cable, we can finally install the batteries. Yes, boopje! We zijn er bijna! Yummy! Yeah, yummy, yummy! So our final day is with Lily. So we enjoy every moment. It's gonna be a long time before we're gonna drive her again. Friday evening, I will pick up Pim. Pim is a guy we met on Instagram. He is from the Netherlands. He is a captain, big boat. Just sent us a message that he was really interested in driving Lily back. But we got a good connection and he was kind of flexible and it fits our dates. So he will fly in on Friday and he will take a bunch of stuff with him. He will start driving all by himself. He will explore Turkey a bit to go to Cappadocia. We totally understand. After that he will drive her back and maybe he will take the ferry from Greece to Italy and then drive to back to the Netherlands. Looks um, they have something. Here it is, finally, 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 finally. Thank you. Two months, and now we are there. And very cool. I asked the guard here to have a look at Benjamin and look at it. He is still sleeping, so that's good. We 
gonna see if everything is inside. I think this is the diagnostic kit. Thank you, Super B. Finally, finally. This is the relay for the starter battery. So we have the relay, we've got the diagnostic kit. So we can upload the new software in the battery interface boxes. We've got the battery connection for parallel and for series, but we don't need it because Yardworks created their own. Maybe in the future if we're gonna extend the bank, but I don't think so. This is Ramazan. Hello. And Ramazan is the master of uh, cables and electricity. And we've got a new captain here. What are you gonna do today? Uh, I will draw something for Raymarin instruments. Okay. From the auto kit. Yes. I will draw it. It's Phil already. No, I don't know. We have somebody in the cabin here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi. What's your name? Bim is my name. 